is up, wrestling fans. So, I'm going to give out my prediction for tonight's backlash. Right off the bat, we have to talk about Randy Orton not being able to compete tonight since he's not cleared ever since what happened to him at SummerSlam. I don't know if this is a work or a part of a storyline. Wait, yeah, work. I don't know if this is a work. I, I'm getting those confused, the terminology. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know if it's part of a storyline or if it's for real. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> so, the predictions for tonight. Let's start off the card. And we're going to go with the SmackDown Tag Team Title Tournament thing. Second time round. Because basically, Chad Gable got injured. And American Alpha can't compete because of bullshit reasons. So we got a second time match, a rematch. The Usos who are being the Rikishi of 2016, but not the Java Rikishi. They're doing it Rikishi style because now they're heels. Is this the first time the Usos are heel? Thank God because they need a change, man. And like, God damn, they need to be heel because they're too much of goody two-shoes. I seriously thought they were going to be like Ricky Steamboat the entire time. We're like... They can't be healed. But other than that, the Usos versus, oh, for fuck's sakes, Hype Brothers. Oh my God, how do I start with this team? As you know, I have no love for Zack Ryder. Okay, correction. He's a talented guy. I give you that. I just can't stand his gimmick. Mojo Raleigh, he's just meh. He really is just meh. I don't see the hype in him. No pun intended. So we got two idiots together in a tag team, the Hype Brothers, against the Usos. The Usos have to win this match. Because otherwise, what the hell has their heel turn been doing? It's bad enough that... <laughs> bad enough that JBL said on SmackDown, like, Oh, the Usos uh, are a top-tier tag team. Two minutes later, they get beat. Way to put them over. So if, there, so if Usos lose this shit, there's something wrong there. Making them out to be a super heel. And having them lose, there's something wrong there. So, going by WWE's booking, instead of regular booking, which is like everybody else, because like, if we're thinking one thing, the WWE is not doing it. I want to go with the Usos, but I'm going to go with the retarded WWE booking, which is the Hype Brothers go over. Because why not kill Uso's credibility even more? Okay, no, I'm going to go with my own predictions. I'm not going to go the WWE way. Uso's for the win. Even though, even though you just know Hype Brothers are going to win it. So the finals with the SmackDown Live. Oh God, I got to stop saying SmackDown Live. I hate that name so much, and I'm already so used to it. The finals of the SmackDown Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos against a tag team that actually works together. I'm surprised as hell. Heath Slater and Rhino. This just came out of nowhere. They're a really good tag team. They, 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 they connected really well. Who will win it? Is Heath Slater going to go on his losing streak, even though he hasn't been losing, to get a SmackDown contract? They either, I don't know, they should have Usos. Like, booking decision, this is really weird. Usos are a massive heel now. They should win it. But Heath Slater doesn't get a contract. But he's the hottest thing going on on SmackDown lately. So I'm going to say Heath Slater and Rhino. Because I'd love to see the Heath Slater family come out and just celebrate because that shit was hilarious. You can't tell me that shit was hilarious. And having one of the kids not be Ginger. That was funny. I found it to be funny. Uh, the, oh, God. This is the match I'm going to regret. Not because it's not it, not because it's going to suck. It's actually going to be really awesome to watch. Six-pack challenge to determine the new SmackDown Women's Champion. We got Natalia versus Alexa Bliss versus uh, 
Nikki H versus Carmelo versus Naomi versus Becky Lynch. Nikki H. There's a reason why I call her Nikki H. She is the female version of Triple H. Nikki H, who is sleeping with John Cena, who in turn is rim jobbing Vince. And the only reason Nikki H was champion for almost a fucking year is because John Cena didn't want her to lose. That bullshit. And also what pisses me off even more is Nikki H is getting the shit kicked out of her every week and she still hasn't gotten her revenge yet. And there's always news of her saying that people behind the scenes want her to become the new SmackDown champion. Ugh. So is Vicky Lynch going to get fucked over again? Or Natalia? The one, the two deserving females in this match? Well, Alexa Bliss too, but it's too early for her. And Carmella, she doesn't really need it because she's Carmella. Naomi. Fuck Naomi. I don't care about Naomi. So the ones that I actually care about, Natalia and Becky Lynch. But Becky Lynch needs it the most. She should win it. But it, they're making it fucking obvious that Nikki H is going to win this shit. So Natalia and Becky Lynch are going to get fucked over once again. Yay for Nikki H for sucking dick. Literally. Sleeping her way to the top. Yes, I hate Nikki H with a passion. Same with Brie Bella. I can't stand the Bella twins. And now that they're having this total Bella's thing, I ain't watching it, but I'm just mad that it's happening. Uh, uh. Intercontinental title match. W whoa, wait for Dolph to get demoted. Going from a WWE Championship match, which we obviously knew he wasn't going to win. But still, way to get demoted that fast. Dolph Ziggler versus The Miz. Ah, uh, I love what they're doing with The Miz. Bringing back the old spark under his ass. The spark, in, the fire in his ass is sparked once more. Because the last time I seen him talk this passionately was when he won the U.S. title of Money in the Bank and he went on that promo on Raw saying like, Oh Vince, you sh oh Vince? Oh Miz, you shouldn't be here. Why are you here? You know, like that, that promo he did that made me a fan of him. God damn, I miss those days. And then he wins the title. Then he loses it, becomes just a guy. And then he does this again where like Daniel Bryan calls him a coward and doesn't like him because he doesn't like to be hit in the face. And Miz just went off on him on Talking Smack. I like that show, Talking Smack. I gotta watch it some more. But yeah, he went off. That's the Miz I haven't seen in years. But yeah, I would like to see Miz win this, win this to keep the thing going. Because I don't know where they're going with this. Because like, they could possibly make him a WWE champion again. Make him lose the title and still have the fire in their ass. And he's like going on a tirade. Dolph, I don't think he's going to win this. Because like, the guy's been losing left and right. Plus, he's Dolph Ziggler. He's the he's pretty much the bitch boy of the WWE. I like Dolph. Don't get me wrong, but the guy has been put down so many times, so many times. Yeah, he can talk that he's like been there for a long time, but they've basically been putting him down. So I see the Miz winning this. I definitely see the Miz winning this. And our final match, which I hope they put a bonus match in there somewhere, since Randy Orton can wrestle Bray. Or at least Bray have wrestled somebody. Somebody at least. Then we got Dean Ambrose versus AJ Styles. I would love to say AJ Styles would win this, but it's kind of way too early for him. He's been only been there for half a year, but hey, Kurt Angle won it in like half a year. So can AJ Styles. But Dean Ambrose has been kind of like on this awesome, well, not really awesome push. He's just like, meh, I'm Dean Ambrose, don't really care. But I'd like to see AJ Styles win it. Hell, this is my prediction, but I don't want to be wrong. I don't know, this is kind of tough. Because AJ Styles, there's a reason he calls himself the one who runs the place, beats Cena twice. Not once, like WWE is saying. Twice now, but they're making a big deal of it. 
Okay, I'm gonna say AJ Styles and then Cena returns and they have another match and of course Super Cena wins it. Making AJ Styles a transitional champion. Yeah, cause that's what they do in the WWE. But yeah, I'm going with AJ Styles. Or I'm gonna say he wins by DQ. Doesn't win the title. Either way, AJ Styles wins. So yeah, he either wins the title or doesn't win the title, but wins by DQ. Yeah, I'm going with that. I'm definitely going with that. So what are your guys' predictions for tonight's SmackDown? Take it easy, wrestling fans. Humanoid freak out. Bye.